Crazy. Okay, so Mike Hughes is here, killer. Regardless if, if Barney had recommended you, you submit, thank you very much for hitting us up, yo. So, uh, if you weren't here earlier, just to clarify what we're looking for, we have this fancy little doodad down in the corner if you didn't see it. Um, it's right there, I'll flash it for you, boom. <clears throat> so we're looking for four things. Presentation, and that's everything. That's everything from the real and the site, kind of your whole online presence. If you submit a resume or, or cover letter or reel to a uh, uh, employer of some kind, whether it's a studio or like a full kind of AAA studio or a smaller studio or a, an audio studio like ours or whatever, then we're, whoever it is looking at your stuff, if they're looking at it at all, they're going to be looking at kind of all that is you online. And that might include your Twitter, that might include a bunch of things. But for our purposes, we look at the site only, and we might kind of stray a bit if there's things that are linked that we're interested in. And also worth mentioning is that every week we go in blind, both Matt and myself. That's Matt-esque in the chat. So we don't put any effort into looking at these things ahead of time. I prepare no notes, the whole point of which being to kind of as accurately as possible emulate a potential employer looking at your stuff for the first time and getting kind of first impressions. So if, for example, your reel is too long and yours looks like it is perfect, killer. If it was like five minutes, for example, and we're 20 seconds in and it's kind of not great so far, I would tell you I would stop right here. We watched the whole thing, but I would stop it and tell you. So we try and be very honest with, uh, with feedback and such. In terms of, yeah, and Matt has no idea ever. He's like, he just shows up and helps out. He's awesome. Nice font. <laughs> Wasn't that a thing <laughs> before? Yeah, fonts are very important. Um, Bulbasaur's meow is is not lying. And what's up, Stephanie? Uh, fonts are important. <laughs> Presentation overall is very important. And so, Senor Zerg says, "I am very interested in submitting my reel for review. I don't see any info on the page. I should put it down there. You're right. I'll put it on there after the stream. Uh, how would I go about this? So Matt says, hit me up on Twitter. So you can look this info down below at Power Up Audio or at Rikimi K. It works just fine." Power Up Audio is probably the best. And just say, hey, here's my reel. Boom. And we'll file it away and I'll let you know when we're going to take a look at it. We, we spend about 20 minutes to half an hour on a reel each week. So we have time for two each week. We already have one next week, actually. It's already slotted in. So feel free to submit and I'll let you know when we're going to look at it. All right. Thanks for the interest, yo. Okay. So real quick, just looking at the page first. Like Matt said... Site starting off clean and demo up front. Points there. Killer. Yes. Mm. Really good. I like this site already. It's nice. Up top. We'll scroll down first. Oh, that's all there is. Amazing. Okay. Front page is only this. It's all you need to see. Good. Accurate. And now about... I'm a sound designer in... Oh, it's like the polygon um, uh, portraits. I'm a sound designer in Los Angeles, California. Shortly after arriving at Brown University in 99, I learned that I could record and manipulate audio with my computer. I've been doing that ever since. In the 16 years that have followed, I've produced, engineered, and mixed albums, created countless remixes, contributed programming and processing to songs, composed music, and recorded voiceover for commercials, television, films, produced, recorded, and mixed podcasts, and conducted thousands of sonic experiments that I'll spare the world from hearing. That's cute. I've also worked as a carpenter, woodworker, learned how to frame houses, and design and build custom high-end furniture. Hmm. I've learned accountability and the importance of being detail-oriented. Detail important. I've always been fond of the visual arts. I enjoy 3D modeling and illustration as well as graphic design. I've come a long way from the early days of trying to understand what to do with the blank, gray Pro Tools screen staring back at me and randomly chain devices together in audio mulch to see what would happen. Yeah, I remember this. I used to use that in my old job. I've taught myself signal flow synthesis, mixing recording, a lot of DAWs. Most importantly, I turn to my ears, develop my aesthetic, and learn to trust my taste. Making sounds is my favorite thing. Killer. Good bio. Really good. Hey, Fubzo. What's up, yo? What's up, Joey Goddard as well? I saw you earlier with the clapper. Uh, okay, into work, music, TV, film, commercial, uh, podcasts, games. Awesome. Music featured. Killer. Really good. Good stuff. <clears throat> And contact, cool, good. And here's Vimeo, got it. I love the stylization, man, it's really cool. And music, SoundCloud? Yeah, okay. So let's do it, yo. Let's do it. Back to the front page. 
full screen. And I got volume up, correct, and correct. I'll turn my mic off for this, and I will turn my side chain off. Also, here we go. Yo, cool. All right, nice, nice, nice. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> claps, claps. All right, so your thoughts, Matt. Look at this time, 104. Pretty good, I like this. It seemed Mass Effect heavy to me. It was Mass Effect heavy, it was half. Claps, claps. Did I review this on Reddit or see it there? Oh, yo, so you saw this already? I guess I lied with the whole thing with Matt not seeing things at a time. Matt's very active on r slash game audio, so if you post your stuff there also, he might get a first look at it before the stream. So, them's the breaks. It can happen. It's very Mass Effect-y, yes. Uh, it was good, though. I liked the Mass Effect shot a lot. It was very kind of up and down. Good use of dynamics and flow. It was nice. And then as far as the following shot, I've seen this before. Wasn't this like a contest or something? This UI thing? I feel like this was some shot that was up online and was something like a UI design contest a, a year ago or something or more is that is that accurate I think it looks very yeah a white noise contest yeah okay thanks thanks Sean is that, is Sean right Sean Lavelle I feel like I'm I think you're there <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's your name I'm sorry if your name's not Sean I'm pretty sure it's Sean ah boom library contest yo Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... That yeah, was okay. I like it. Yeah, it was sweet, it was just really short. That's, that's fine. Compared to this, I kind of... So here, here's the thing, so when I see reels... Uh, the, the presentation thing is weird, because it's so subjective, but... Seeing as I am hosting this thing, I'll tell you what I think. The I, I tend to like reels more when they're like Angela. So Angela, if you're still here, this is a great example of kind of varying up what's what's going on, right? What up, home slice? What up, home slice? Shane Gravestock. Yo, thanks for hanging out. So we have this shot, some UI stuff, and this one afterwards. This is kind of akin to what you were doing on your reel, Angela, right? Kind of here's some here's something kind of stylistic and some stuff here and there but as opposed to your reel where it was kind of all like that or sparse or whatever he has this thing also which is like vastly different and it's good by the way no yeah, i liked it i like this whole shot it was great it's kind of an ongoing theme in the whole uh palette of the sound i liked it a lot I'm nodding, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't see you nodding, Angela. I apologize. <laughs> MS20, yo. Okay. So this is this is like fine, but what I was saying about flow is that this shot, Mass Effect, is so intro, so six seconds to like thirty-six or so, right? So you have thirty seconds of of freaking Mass Effect in a minute and four, and then you have. 36 to, so like six seconds of the next thing. So it just surprised me. And the thing is, so when I read your about, it had so much stuff, and I kind of expected to see more than this. But, I mean, if it's your strongest stuff, then that's what you that's what you should be showing, of course. 
I do like this shot a lot too, being kind of more surrealist and more stylized. Yeah, you know, I thought I thought you, I was gonna leave that for you, Matt. Actually, I was like, I'm not gonna say this. Uh, so Matt says, and I agree. His main complaint of the Mass Effect part was the borderline musicness of it. Shows good trailer work, but hides what I want to see for general sound effects work. I'm not sure if you've my man complaint. <laughs> my man. Uh, I'm not sure you've hung up here before, Michael, but that's one thing we often say in terms of trailer stuff especially is that if you redesign and you throw a sick music track over top if it's your music it's sometimes pat like it's kind of excusable because you're showing that you can do the whole the whole package and that's really that's really helpful and very informative but we had one guy oh man who was it was it Jesse Sitters I think had the oh, I don't no 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 it was Jackson, Jackson Turner had the um the 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 some band music behind it and it was like this isn't your music a and b it's like super loud in the mix and we can't tell what you've actually designed and so i'll say again as a guy so let's say someone like the audio director at some you know triple a studio if he's looking to hire you it's very unlikely he's hiring you to be a a position of like overseeing the mix on a trailer or something like that you'd probably be doing things like one aspect of it, or you do like the editing or the design or something, and then they would step in and make sure that the whole thing that is now public facing is good to go. So showing a trailer where you have the whole mix isn't as useful from an employ like from an employer's perspective as something like here is just the sound design that's being that's in there. Because the thing is, if you have buried your sound design in music, much like Angela did did in that Nomad uh, shot, but I don't think she mixed. I think she did. What did you mix? No, I think you just did the, the sound design there. If you bury it, then that's fine if it's correct for the for the piece, but the problem is that it it makes it so we can't tell as employers, we can't tell if there's a shot that is supposed to be sound design only, if you can rock that. You know? Like from this shot, I'm I'm pretty sure it's it's fine, because it's like Matt says, it's borderline musicness. If you'd bird it in some ha like Hans Zimmer track, then of course it'd be an issue. But uh, it's only borderline. <laughs> yeah, definitely kind of... It, it sounds sweet, you know, but it's it's definitely kind of music-y. Uh, and like I said, that can be good, but it depends on what you want to show, that's all. So, Dark Twinge, what's up, man? Good to see you. Do you think that'd be that'd vary more with indies? I'd expect smaller studios to be more interested in all in one. Yeah, that's a thing, right? So you want to kind of tailor your stuff to where you're applying to, because if you're you're correct in saying that a lot of indies, for example, indies who hire us, sometimes they come to us and say, "Can you do this one thing?" But more frequently, they they embrace the idea of our doing more things because they're a small team, and if we can do more things, then sweet. You know, I mean, for example, the as, as an extreme example, I edited the tooth and tail teaser trailer, you know, because they were like, can you just do it? And I can, and they didn't have time, so I just took care of it, right? Like, showing that you have versatility in that case is very is very useful for a, t for a certain kind of team. It just depends on where you're applying. So Matt, as, you know, the guy at Clay, if he had a hand in hiring you to work under him at Clay, for example, I don't think he would want to see, as, as he is saying very plainly right now, I don't think he would want to see a full kind of trailer thing. So as he's saying now, as I was pigeonholing Angela, this would make me think of you mostly as a trailer person, not necessarily for the main in-game stuff. Yeah, you haven't really shown that anywhere here that you can do the in-game stuff. <clears throat> and I, I get the feeling, sorry, from your bio, I forget, uh, I've already forgotten, you're mostly working in, in film and other things, right? So albums, remixes, songs, commercials, television, film, podcasts yeah so are you excuse me are you looking to get into games more because from this whole reel I get the impression you kind of like the the linear timeline more than more than interactive <clears throat> oh yeah there you go so Matt says I do all the sound effects and mixing on our trailers at clay there you go so you wouldn't you wouldn't even do, be doing that potentially I mean if you were if you were there and you have the ability for it that's like a bonus but it's not going to be a 
it's not going to be the number one thing he's looking for, you know? So Joey says, I think, and by the way, Joey Goddard is also at Power Up Audio. I think squeezing in one more shot of something with some detailed sound effects work and cutting a bit off the mass effect would make this a very nice reel. I agree. Totally. <laughs> Fubzo was freaking over the contact lining up right here. <laughs> it's, he's pumped. It is. It's, it's, a, it's an attractive sight. It looks very nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I like it a lot, man. I think it's really cool. So in terms of in terms of uh, presentation, looks really good. Great sight. I, I like your your flow, your intro, outro. It's tasteful. Super good. Um, this is nice. Year is nice. Vimeo is nice. It's all nice. And in terms of flow, like I was saying, the kind of the halfway and then this and this and this, it feels kind of imbalanced. So like Joey was saying, kill off some of this. Like this, the section from here to here, basically. Just find something else. There you go. Uh, and like we were saying to Angela, if you're looking to get an interactive, you might it, it might be something to look into to actually find an example project online somewhere and look into learning how to implement things. Or you, I think it said you program a bit too in there about. So just there's a lot of exa example material out there right now. If you are interested in doing interactive, it, it's probably worthwhile to, to look into that and perhaps just throw it in. As far as content quality, again, like it's sick. What you have is good. Like it's it's it sounds great. I like this a lot. Just minus the whole, well, not even minus, just you know, bearing in mind the the musicy thing. But it's fine. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and like that's kind of something else here. It's a little more music-y. Here's a pad kind of thing. A bit of sound here. Yeah, you know, this whole section is kind of more music style, but whatever. This UI bit, cool. Sounds good. This thing, cool. Sounds good. Like it's all, it's all fine. So, <clears throat> like Matt says, I'd say something that shows a bit more in-game stuff, maybe a bit more a bridge to the final piece. Yeah, totally. Hoping to add some more stuff from an actual game in the final, or in the fall, sorry, good. Uh, okay, so, Mass Effect UI thing something? Cartoon. Yeah, agreed. Just show a bit more of Bridge, like he's saying. Would be good, would be very good. And okay, as, as far as distinction, well, what you've got is great, that's a big thing, and really a, a big one, the, the, the big distinction is freaking this, you have the experience, that's a, that's a big one like in 99 and now for 16 years like people see 16 years and think cool he's serious <laughs> that's definitely very very good uh in terms of distinction for interactive audio specifically there's nothing here like there's nothing that's going to make me want to hire you more than the guy who has a killer interactive and, and game background you know just kind of the, just just the facts that's just the the reality given that you came from a certain background and now you've got you have that. That's an amazing foundation to build upon to come into, to come into uh, uh, interactive. But okay, yeah. So Matt says possibly try to show that experience in the real because, like I said, reading that first, I was surprised that there's only like three things, only three things in the real. Three total. It's crazy. Mind you, there are more links here, Vimeo and and music and such. We got a lot here. So is your is your thinking you wanted to have it focused more on game stuff? So have like a half have it as half game material like the Mass Effect trailer, and then have you know some UI stuff that could ostensibly be sorry not ostensibly supposedly be gamey ish, and then the last bit of film part just to kind of because you have it. Whereas all these things are commercials and short films and such. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so the website, I'll give both the websites actually. Here's Angela D. There's Angela's site. And I've also taken to I've also taken to highlighting these these portions on Twitch as well. And I may export them to YouTube. I don't know if people care enough. It's I don't know. I don't know. I I, I did a highlight on Twitch and people seem to really appreciate that. Obviously this is a very niche kind of stream, but I guess people if you're if you're looking for it, it's pretty helpful. So Maybe we'll do that. If you have, if you really feel strongly about having it on YouTube, then let me know and I'll I'll look into it. 
Okay. So <clears throat> I think that's it for now. So thank you again to both uh, to both Mike and Angela. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and again, so like Senior Zerg was asking if you have any if you have any interest in submitting a reel for discussion and critique, then feel free to tweet at Power Up Audio and throw uh, throw us your link to your site, and we'll uh, we'll just put it on there and and uh, and I'll let you know when. When we'll have time to have a look, okay? Uh, hi, that's a great. Thanks, Kevin. Cheers, Rob. Um, claps, claps, claps. Thumbs up. Awesome. Love seeing everyone's work. Yeah, cheers, Angela. It's cool seeing your stuff after seeing you in the, in the stream so often, you know? So thanks a lot for your, your patronage. And uh, YouTube could be good to, good to share on Twitter or something. Yeah, I guess so, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Joust. What's up? Joust the Drawbarian. And we'll use that to segue right into... Oh, sorry, before I do that, though, of course, Matt Esk, his usual self-promotion link for coaching and stuff. Matt Martinson of Clay Entertainment has been around for a long time, worked at EA. He's, he's been all, all around the block, working on a lot, a lot of good stuff. And he is... I, I'm very fortunate to have a, a pal like him to help me out with this, this stream in, in critiquing, because there's not a lot of guys out there, in the Vancouver scene especially, who can who can kind of hang in his, in his echelon. So... Much thanks to him. Claps to him as well. Boom. So as I was saying, Joe's the Drawbarian Turner. 